Hey guys, this is Usass from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find a lost droid using Droid Finder from the Play Store. So, we're just going to go into the Play Store, search for Droid Finder as you can see in there, and we're going to hit right here. It's by Antec Software, and it's going to look like this triangle icon, and we're going to install it. Now, there are a bunch of Find My Phone apps that are available in the Play Store, but what makes this one a little bit different is it has trigger mode, which actually has silent medium, aggressive, and then custom. And these are custom alerts that you can have on your phone that are displayed and then custom alerts that are sent to you via email or via SMS message. So we're just going to open it up and then we're going to, I'll show you the initial setup. It'll say sign in right here to your Google Plus account. We can do that at a later point. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your device is no longer at risk. It's not actually at risk, but it's just saying that the security features that this comes with aren't installed yet. So we're just going to click on that. And then we're going to just activate everything. So it's kind of annoying that you have to do this one by one instead of just having a activate all button. Click here, intruder alert. That means if they fail to break your passcode or your PIN, it'll actually send you a message. And you can change the number of temps. It's at three by default. You can change it to five or just one. But obviously, you might not want one because I mess up all the time. We're just going to turn that on and then click active. And then it'll come to this screen. You can just read all the stuff. But then just click activate. We're going to go back. And we're going to click on SIM change alert. So obviously, if somebody steals your phone, the first thing a smart thief would do is change the SIM card and turn it off or turn it off and change the SIM card. So if you want to get alerted if that ever happens, this will do it for you. So you're just going to turn that on, click active, it'll say right here, Droid Finder now records current SIM card, and if a SIM, another SIM card is inserted, you will be um, alerted. Click on that, we're going to go back. SMS control, this is another awesome feature that's in a, a couple other apps that are in the Play Store, but you can actually send text messages to your phone to actually control what it's doing. So you can send a text message to wipe the data, send a text message to lock the screen, to turn off the phone. You can send a text message that automatically makes this phone call um, your secondary phone, which you're gonna, I'll show you how to set up later. The default pin is right here, you can change that. You can also go to the command guide, which shows you exactly what kind of things you can send. Like unlock your device, toggle loss mode, send a message, etc., etc. Um, so we're just going to activate that. We're going to go back. Reporting number. And so the reporting number is the number that any alert that this has gets sent to. So we're just going to activate that. You go right here. And then you just enter in your number. I'm obviously not going to do that. And then you click OK. And then all that will be done. And it says not signed in. And here's where you're going to want to sign in. It automatically signs into my Google Plus because this is obviously my device. Um, and then when you go to find my droid, you're going to have to go to this website, which is droidfinder.com, and then set up your Google Plus account there. And once you're here, it'll show you the map, you can send alerts, everything you can do within the app, you'll be able to do online, because if you lose your phone, you won't have the app. So that's where you do it, you're going to log in to Google Plus. And you have all that information. So we're just going to head back to the app. Um, what else was I going to show you? I was going to show you the, the trigger modes, which is what I think is pretty cool. So it's going to be in the anti-theft section. And scroll down here, and you click on trigger modes. And first mode will be silent mode, which is the, by default what's set up to. So what that does, it shows a notification. It takes a picture if somebody enters in a wrong um, passcode and it's silent so there's no shutter sound which is a huge nuisance with this phone but it actually makes it silent so you they will have no idea what happened um, it'll send a message to your reporting number which I showed you how to set up and then I'll also send an email alert to whatever email is on your Google Plus account there's a medium mode and then there's an aggressive mode and I'll just show you Aggressive mode does all those things I just talked about, but it enables loss mode, which locks your phone, and then it automatically sends the, the GPS location to the Droid Finder Google Plus account. And it also shows a warning on this page, so that whoever has your phone 
knows that you know that they took it. And then you can see right here, it'll say try now up at top. So I'll just click on that. And then it just took a picture. You didn't hear anything. There you go. And so that's my beautiful face right there. So as you can see, this is the screen that you get taken to when you're locked out. This is just a demo key. But when it does lock for somebody who stole your phone, they obviously won't have this. So they'll just be stuck and locked out. So we're just going to use this key, 4142, 4142, hit enter, and then we'll be taken right back. Um, I just also want to show you what the SMS alerts look like. You can go here, SMS control, then the command guide will actually show you what happens. So let's just do send a message to a specific number. Let's do toggle loss mode. So you would enter in this and then send it. So it would be star star drawer finder. You'd enter in your pin. Then you put star, loss, star, and then you'd enter in on or off. And if you lost your phone, you'd obviously want to turn that on. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to click try it. And then that's exactly what happens. So just click unlock right now since it's a trial. It's going to be the same code. Or not. Yeah, the default pin is 1234. Luckily, I remember that. Um, you can just lock your device again, try it. Callback number, that would be the, the number that you enter in if you lock it yourself. So it's, um, like I said, a really useful app. It has a lot of the features that most people are looking for, and it combines security with recovery. So just make sure to check it out. It's called Droid Finder. It's by Antec Software. Um, it's in the Play Store. It's free. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. All right, thanks, guys.